Hello everybody! Welcome back to the Wapkai Book Club. My name is Phoenix and once again I am joined with Kenzie. Hello! You have a very murderous profile picture. <laughs> yeah, I do. You have to you can pull in the knife and everything, doll. Yep. I, I guess that means you're very passionate or you're very murderous. It can, it yes. can be either or. Yep. <laughs> But the, the, the wheel has spoken for us, and uh, we're gonna do something a little different. This is not a, a like a ship, all right? This is well, I mean, some we're it, we're basically yeah. self entering ourselves into these random scenarios with total drama characters. Mm -hmm. And I found this wonderful book. I've I've read their other stuff of their like their Duncan X readers. Well, actually, I think it's Duncan X O C. I highly recommend them. But uh, it's this one. It's by We Forgot Tyler. It's Scenarios Total Drama. I would die for this author any day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, I do follow them on Instagram. They're a very lovely person. I just really <laughs> love their writing style and the way that they write their books. So I thought, why not share one of my, my lovely beauties that I that I have on Wattpad? <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> It, trust me, it's really good. They have another one called mm -hmm. Shorts and whatnot. So, I, I, if I ever like recommended an like an author, it would be this one. Please go check them out on Wattpad. Their original this book will be linked down below in the description. Please follow them; they're absolutely wonderful. But so, yep, this is basically random scenarios with a character, and we're just like living living life. We're living like Gary, I think. <laughs> yep. <laughs> But uh, there's a lot of characters, so me and Kenzie went through and decided which characters that we're going to read. And we're going to do these in chapter order. So, what? I mean, there's, you can kind of pick and choose, but because um, there's a bunch of characters and none of the really stories kind of line up, so it was kind of like little one-offs. Yeah. But uh, we're going to start with my favorite, <laughs> The Cabin with Brick. Let's go. Yes. Yeah. Also, this this book is listed mature because of some shorts, like some scenarios. I don't remember which ones. So if it something happens, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't have a. I almost suggested I have a cookie, but both sides are the exact same. Oh wait, I can flip the the thing I have the the. Pokemon sword case. Alright, I can do that. Alright, do you want to be the doggy or do you want to be uh, the instructions on the back? Um, I'll be the doggy. Okay. Alright, it's doggy. Okay. Yeah, and I think uh, these are short, so we can probably just do like one person reads the whole thing and then the other person reads the next whole thing. Okay. That makes it That easier. sounds good. Okay. But I just realized I have I have to clear this stuff. Hold on. Okay. Like, I was doing like switching POVs and stuff with someone. Yeah. Okay, I had to clear everything. All right. All right. Okay. So prompt. You let out a deep sigh of relief as you entered the small cabin. You and your best friend Brick would be staying in for the weekend. It was rustic, to say the least, with a musty spell and, creak and creaky wooden floors, but it was better than sleeping outside in a tent. At least there's two beds, Brick responded, trailing in behind you with his backpack slung over his shoulder. You, 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 you tossed yours to the ground and looked around the room. There was a small table with two chairs, a fireplace, two twin beds pushed against opposite walls. You, you, you turned to Brick with a grin. Looks like we won't have to snuggle up too close tonight. He smirked. I don't know about that. It might get pretty cold in here. You raised an eyebrow. Are you saying you want me to snuggle with you? Brick blushed, but didn't deny it. You chuckled. All right, we'll see how the night goes. You and Brick have you and Brick have been best friends since you met a, since you met at since you met at a camp when you were sixteen. But bonding bonding over bonding over your shared love for of the outdoors. You you you, you had planned this trip to the cabin for months. Eager to escape the stresses of work and city life, as you unpacked your bags, you couldn't help but feel drawn to Brick's wall, 
He breaks tall, athletic, athletic build, and kind demeanor. You wondered if he felt the same way about you. As the night wore on, you sat by the fire, si sipping, sipping hot cocoa, and, talk and talking about, and talking about your, sh and talking about your, sh your shared love of the outdoors. You, you, you felt, you felt a spark of attraction growing between you and Brick, and, and you knew you had, and you, knew, and you knew you had to act on it. Hey, I'm getting a little cold over here. You spoke up after drinking your hot chocolate, shivering slightly. Do you mind if I snuggle up with you? Brick smiled warmly, inviting you with open arms. Of course not. He he led you over to his bed where you snuggled up close, feeling his body feeling his body heat warming you up. You looked up at him and saw the way he was looking at you with a mixture of affection and desire. Without another without another word, you you lean you lean in and you leaned in and kissed him. It was soft at first, but quickly grew more passionate. You wrapped your arms around around each other and and both pu pulled each other close. Lost in a moment. Lost in a moment. Um, as you broke the kiss, you whispered in his ear, "I've I've wanted to do that for a long time." Brick smiled. A, d a deep brush creeping up his neck, cre creeping up his neck and and to his cheeks. Me too. I loved it. <laughs> yes, me too. I love me some good fluff. <laughs> yeah, same. Also, I love these little things that they put at the end to, like, really, like, immerse you in the little scenario thing. Yeah, that's so cool. I mean, it does make you think of, like, like, because you're putting these random scenarios, so it makes you think of, like, how did you meet this person? What, like, yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, I, like I said, I respect this person on so many levels. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so, our next one is number 18, Lindy, our little, our little blonde bimbo. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. I, I, wait, what was this one called again? Spa Night with Lindsay. I kind of <laughs> want to go to a spa. I don't think I've ever been to a spa before. Me neither, actually. Yeah, I've been to, like, like nail salons and whatnot to get nails <laughs> done. And then like feet and whatnot, but like I never just like had like a full someone like full on pampering me. <laughs> yeah, me neither. All right, prompt. It was a Friday night, and you were heading over to your friend Lindsay's house for a much needed spa night. Lindsay, the bubbly, then what does that say? Viva. I have no idea. Too many big words for me. The bubbly blonde, yeah. but also known for her beauty routine and love for pampering herself. As you approached her house, you couldn't help but marvel at the elegant exterior, complete with the well-manufactured garden and a wraparound porch. Lindsay greeted you by the door, her blonde locks cascading down her shoulders. She wore a fluffy white robe and a beaming smile that illuminated the room. Hey, I'm so excited you were able to make it to the spa night, she explained, her eyes sparkling with enthusiasm. Entering her house, you are immediately in enveloped by a soothing atmosphere, pop music playing in the background, and the scent of jasmine filled the air. Lindsay led you to her cozy living room, transformed into a makeshift spa haven. Candles flickered on every surface, casting a warm glow into the room. Take a seat! We got a lot to do tonight! Lindsay chirped, motioning towards a plush armchair adorned with fluffy towels and an array of skincare products. I almost <laughs> I, don't, I think it's just because I've watched too much One Piece. I almost read Fluffy as Luffy. <laughs> oh. God. I mean, th that video will be out way before this comes out, but like, I just did a <laughs> filming and, like, for merch, and I was just like, alright, the last piece, like, the One Piece left for the collection, and then I stopped myself and, like, cut One Piece. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's so stupid, I caught myself doing that. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, you settled into the chair and ready for pampering session to begin. Lindsay, never ever the beauty expert, began detailing her excessive skincare routine, explaining every step with much permission. You couldn't help but smile at her enthusiasm and genuine desire to share her knowledge. As she applied a cucumber's 
face mask to your skin, Lizzie's voice filled the room. So, you know, I've always been into taking care of my skin. Like, it's super important, you know? Like, you can't just rely on good regimes. Her in infectious laugh laughter... Okay. Resonated. Resonated. Oh, that- oh. <laughs> Resonated. You found yourself joining in. Hours flew by and you indulged in face masks, scrubs, and moisturizers, all while engaging in lively conversation. After applying various products, Lindsay babbled about her love for fashion and snuffers bars. She also recounted some stories from high school. Her animated retelling had you doubling over in laughter. Her bubbly personality shined through with every word. As the spa night drew to a close, Lizzie beamed in satisfaction, her skin glowing and her spirit rejuvenated. See? Spa nights are the best. We should totally do this more often, she explained, her baby blue eyes sparkling with, in with excitement. <laughs> you nodded in agreement, feeling grateful for the fun and relaxing e evening spent with Lindsay. Just to keep in I mind. I yeah. loved that. That was so fun. Yeah, dude. I I don't think, oh, I think this is just like a thing. Like I get little tingles from it, like a little ASMR tingles. But like I love it when people like play with my hair and just like yeah. I I don't know what it is. I don't like. I just like it, especially when like like when um it's mainly women who have it. Like the the, the like somewhat long nails and they go through my my hair. Uh -huh. Bro, I could sit there all day. I'll be like, I'll be out. <laughs> Just yeah. like, my brain will be somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I think I would hang out with Lindsay and have her pamper me like this. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah, this is, yeah, I agree. It's awesome. All right. Oh, now I, okay. <laughs> I know the next one that we're doing. All right. We're doing chapter 20, Baking Adventures with DJ. Let's go. Prom. The sun was the sun was shining at, at the sun was shining as you stared at your burnt cookies, feeling frustrated. The kitchen was a mess, and you were ready to give up. But you knew one person who could help. DJ. Determined, determined, you called DJ and wait and, and waited anxiously. After a few rings, he answered, sounding excited. Hey, buddy, what's up? What's up? DJ chuckled. You couldn't help but smile at his laughter. He knew you weren't great at baking. DJ, I need your help. I keep burning my cookies. Do you teach me how to bake? Absolutely, DJ replied. Come, come over to my place and we'll bake together. Fil filled with hope, you filled with hope, you went to DJ's house. He he welcomed you with open arms and a smile, wearing a flower-covered apron that that showed that showed his that showed his expertise. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're going to learn how to bake. DJ declared. You bring you 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 bring the willingness to learn, and and I'll bring the ingredients. Together, together we'll make something amazing. You put on an apron and and stood beside DJ in his busy kitchen. The sweet smell, the sweet smell of spices filled the air. DJ DJ handed you a recipe card with clear instructions. We'll start with classic chocolate chip cookies. Trust me, you'll become a master at this. DJ said confidently. With DJ's guidance, you follow the recipe, measuring and mix. Measuring and mixing the ingredients, DJ's hand, DJ's hand moved expertly, and he encouraged you along the way. Remember, blend the, blend the ingredients perfectly. DJ advised calmly. You can do it. As he stirred the, as he stirred the dough, d d d as he stirred the dough, the, the dough, d DJ shared funny stories about his own baking adventures. The sound of utensils and stirring created a happy atmosphere. Now. now now, now, now he scooped the dough onto the baking sheet, DJ said with a mischievous grin. Watching closely, this is where the magic happens. DJ skillfully scoops, usually skillfully scooped the dough onto the, sh onto the, sh onto the sheet, while while he tried to mi mimic his movements. His, his excitement, his his excitement fueled fueled your determination. While the cookies bake, you and DJ eagerly waited. The smell of chocolate filled the room, making you even more excited. L look at those golden beauties! You did it! DJ exclaimed proudly. You and DJ sat down, enjoyed the warm, gooey, cookie gooey cookies. The flavors were delicious, a testament to your teamwork. As you ate, DJ laughed and leaned back. B 
Baking is all about patience and precision. With a little guidance, anyone can become a master in the kitchen. I love that. <laughs> I, I love this. This, like, like, they looked at DJ's character and they, they watched the show and they knew how to formulate his personality. It isn't like watered down. Yeah, they really do. They really do. And I love that. Like, I can see him doing this with, like, with any of the, the cast and whatnot. Like, I see him doing yeah. this shit with, like, Lindsay, of just, like, baking together and whatnot. Yeah, he would! Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I just love that DJ's that such a awesome. nice person, like, he doesn't get enough, like, fan recognition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, oh, who is... Oh, okay. Chapter 30 this time. Which will feature, if I can get down there, Bridget takes you to a meditation class. I feel like this is right for Allie, because she's very much yes, into- Yes, definitely. Yeah. Not to sound- I mean, the, all these characters are, like, stereotypes, but, like, surfer girl, vegetarian, mm -hmm. I- yeah, meditation, yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, wait, didn't, didn't she have, like, show off that she- that she did meditation in season one? Uh-huh. Yeah, I- okay. I think so, yeah. Oh yeah, during the- the food eating competition, yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. I- I remember that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm so smart. Alright. <laughs> I thought they were, like, pulling it out of there, like... They were like, yeah, I should probably be into that. Alright, prompt. As the warm sun hits your skin, you found yourself walking along Bridget, who invited you to, to join her meditation class. You couldn't help but feel excited and curious about this new experience. Hey, I'm really glad you decided, decided to come with me, Bridget spoke, flashing you a warm smile. Meditation is all about finding inner peace and connecting with yourself. I think you love it. As you entered the scenery meditation studio, the scent of burning incense filled the air, instantly calming your senses. The room was dimly lit, with soft music playing in the background. You settled into your cushions, feeling a sense of anticipation and relaxation wash over you. The instructor, the instructor a gentle and serene, yes, yeah, serene woman, welcomed everyone with a soft voice. Welcome, everyone. Today we'll be embarking on a journey of self-discovery and tranquility. Let us begin. Bridget leaned over and whispered, just close your eyes, take some deep breaths, and let your thoughts flow freely. Don't worry about anything else. This is your time. Following her advice, you close your eyes, taking deep breaths and exhaling slowly. The sound of Bridget's calm breathing beside you provided a comfort anchor. As the instructor guided the class through various mindful exercises, you felt yourself sinking deeper in a state of relaxation. Thoughts and worries started to fade away, replaced with a sense of inner peace. After what felt like both an eternity and a fleeting moment, the instructor gently called everyone back to the present. Opening your eyes, you saw Bridget smiling at you. How was it? She asked softly. It was amazing, you replied, still feeling the lingering tranquility. I never realized how much I needed this quiet time to just be myself. Oh, just be with myself. Thank you, Bridget. Bridget's hazel eyes sparkled with understanding. I'm just so glad you enjoyed it. Meditation is like riding the waves. You have to be present and let go of everything else. It's a beautiful way to find balance in your hectic lives. I said the two of you left the meditation studio. You couldn't help but to feel a sense of gratitude towards gra towards Bridget's in invitation. Walking along <laughs> the beach, <laughs> I, I, I screw up these basic English words. So. Yeah. <laughs> I do that sometimes too, so so I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Walking along the beach, the sounds of crashing waves and salty breeze enveloped you. Bridget turned to you with a mischievous grin. Hey, how about we go catch a few waves before heading home? There are things like meditation and motion. You chuckled and agreed, realizing that in Bridget's world, every moment is an opportunity for connection, growth, and finding peace within oneself. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> you know what? Bridget doesn't get enough recognition, I feel like. She gets shit on a Yeah. Lot. Yeah, I agree. Justice hmm. for, for this girl. <laughs> yeah. She needs it. Right. Now we have 
a character that we don't really see a lot when we read our fan fictions. Izzy. Yeah. Izzy. Yep. Just weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's like I didn't know if you were calling Izzy weird. <laughs> no, no, no. It's weird that she doesn't really get a lot of like stories in this. Yeah. If you know I what I mean. There is a Izzy X reader, but it's listed so mature, so that's why I haven't like brought it out. So Yeah. <laughs> like an Owen X Izzy. Like they're they're like season one through three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. People gotta get their yeah. shit together, I guess. Yeah. Alright, peanut butter, pickles, chocolate syrup, and Izzy. <laughs> this will be an interesting one. <laughs> yep. Prompt. Izzy burst Izzy burst into your room with her usual energy, her green eyes gleaming with mischief. Hey, hey, Wyan. Or I guess whoever. Yeah. I've got something amazing for you to try, she exclaimed, waving a plate in front of your face. You glance at the plate, puzzled by the strange con strange con concoction of food before you. It was a bizarre combination of peanut butter, pickles, and chocolate syrup. Your eyebrows furrowed in disbelief. Izzy, that looks... interesting? Are you sure about this? Izzy's smile grew wider, and her curly hair bounced behind her. Trust me, it's a taste explosion! You've got to try it! Come on, don't be a chicken! I'm you just like... Sleep or... I'm like oh, imagining it's... that, like, Izzy just broke into your house or apartment and he's like, Yo, Wyan, you, got, you gotta try this, and we're like, How did you get in here? How did you find my address? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's an Izzy thing. She it's would a do very that. such an Izzy thing. Yeah. You hesitated for a moment, unsure if you should trust Izzy's taste in food. However, her enthusiasm was infectious, and curiosity got the better of you. All right, fine. I'll give it a shot. You agreed, grabbing a spoon and taking a cautious bite. The flavors collided on your taste buds like a carnival ride. The the creamy sweetness of the peanut butter mixed with the tangy crunch of the pickles. All all drizzled with a hint of chocolatey goodness. Surprisingly, it wasn't as repulsive as you had expected. In fact, it was strangely delicious. Izzy watched you Izzy Izzy watched you in, 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 instantly. Her eyes widened with excitement. Well, what do you think? You swallowed the particular combination. You swallowed you swallowed the peculiar combination and couldn't help but smile. Izzy, this is actually amazing. It's like a party in my mouth. Izzy lit up with the del- Izzy lit up with the light and bounced on her toes. I knew you love it. See, sometimes you just you just have to be adventurous and try new things. Life is too short to stick to the ordinary. As the two of you continue to indulge in the in the in, 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 in indulge in the peculiar treat, you found yourself appreciating Izzy's spontaneous nature more than ever. Her eccentric personality had brought had brought you an unexpected joy and realized that sometimes it's the unconventional experiences that leave a lasting impression. That was so good. Yes. I really I loved that. I really liked that. Yeah, I'm, I mean this is straight up indie territory, you know. I feel like you yeah. should do this. Absolutely. So, I like I do I like I praise this author. They're they're really good. <laughs> Yeah, they are. They are really good. Oh, all right. Next one, chapter forty-three. Tyler. <laughs> Let's go. All right, trying sushi with Tyler. Hopefully, he doesn't get like food poisoning. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm like seeing now, like he's like, I'm gonna order a pufferfish, and like the next scene's like him in a yeah. hospital because they cut off like a little bit of the poison bit. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, who knows? Maybe he'll like it. <laughs> Prompt. You and Tyler stood outside the sushi restaurant, excited excitement bubbling up within the both of you. It was a sunny afternoon, the aroma of fresh cooked rice and seafood was like a delicious way of hitting your senses. Tyler's eyes were practically shining with anticipation as he turned to you, flashing his signature megawatt smile. Are you ready for this? he asked. His voice filled with enthusiasm. He nodded, matching his grin. Holy Tyler, I've heard so much about this sushi place. I can't wait to dig in with you. Like, are they just, 
Wait, I'm already like picturing one of the, the the questions at the end. I'm like, are we dating in this scenario, or are we just like friends who just love sushi? Yeah. <laughs> As you stepped into the restaurant, the soft melodies of traditional Japanese tunes filled the air. The place was decked out with classy cherry blossom decorations, creating a what is oh uh, well Sorry. oh scenery atmosphere. <laughs> the hostess <laughs> led you to led you both to a table with a window. Oh, by the window, giving you a prime view of the bustling city streets. The waiter glided over the menus, giving you a small bow. Welcome. Ready to place your orders? The hour looked at you, his excitement practically jumping off the charts. What do you recommend? He asked the waiter. The waiter beamed warmly. For, for beginners, we suggest starting with a California roll. It's the safest bet. A lot of folks who are new to sushi love it. I mean, I could probably... Yeah, that's... <laughs> I mean, that's what I told Cameron when we was trying sushi. I'm like, just get a California roll. You're gonna love it. Yeah. <laughs> they are good. Yeah, they, I mean, they are. They're a good safe bet. If you don't know what kind of sushi to get, just always get a California roll. Yeah. There's also, like, Philadelphia rolls. Those are pretty good. Oh, like, safe those are options. my favorite. I yeah. love those so much. I don't know if they're in, like, other places, like, other sushi places than the, the two I go to. But I usually get a Las Vegas roll, which is, it's, like, deep fried and then eel. Mm -hmm. And then there's yeah. one called like the Daddy's Girl, where it's like wrapped like your rice, and then it's wrapped in like some pink. I don't know if it's sea like dyed seaweed, but it's really good. And there's like avocado crab stick. I think there's eel in there, and then there's like the shrimp tempura. Really good. <laughs> nice. Tyler nodded it and eagerly, and you agreed. Want to ease into this awesome culturally adventure? The waiter left to fulfill your request, leaving you and Tyler to have a lively chat. So Tyler, have you ever tried sushi before? You asked, sternly curious. He scratched his head sheepishly. Uh, no, this is my first time, but hey, I'm always game for trying new things, right? He chuckled, loving his positive attitude. That's the spirit, Tyler. I got a feeling you're gonna have a blast. So I'm guessing we've had sushi before. All right, I can deal with this. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> As you chance to as you chatted away, the waiter returned with a plate of beautifully arrayed California rolls. The vibrant colors of the ingredients caught your eye, and the delicate arrangements made your taste buds tingle. Tyler leaned in, inspecting the dish with equal fascination. Whoa, this looks amazing, he explained, reaching for a piece of his chops with his chopsticks. But in his excitement, he ended up fumbling and setting the roll flying onto the table. Yeah. <laughs> Both of you burst into laughter, catching attention to nearby diners. Adam's face turned to red as a ripe tomato as he apologized profusely, his natural clumsiness showing through. Let's sweat it, Tyler. You reassured him, still giggling. We all have these moments. Let's give it another try. Take another piece from the plate, you showed Tyler the right technique for using chopsticks. He followed your lead, determined to conquer the quest, or to conquer the challenge. After a few comical attempts, he finally managed to get a good grip on the California roll. Success, he claimed, holding up the sushi triumphantly before taking a big bite. His eyes widened and the look of pure delight spread across his face. Mmm, this is mind-blowing. Dude, just don't feel bad, dog. I mean, if if you don't want to use, like, a fork, at least this is what, like, Cameron's learned, because he has, like, Asian friends, and he asked them the best way of eating sushi. If you can't use yeah. chopsticks, you can just, it's finger food, so you can just pick it up with, yeah. your, with your hands and it's not weird. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. So if you can't use chopsticks, just use your fingers. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do actually. Yeah. I mean, you, I mean, Karen just still uses like a fork sometimes. He just stabs her right, <laughs> like dips <laughs> and then eats. <laughs> you grin, stoked to see Tyler enjoying his first taste of sushi. Inspired by his enthusiasm, you took a bite of your own. Flavor, flavoring the explosion. Wait, savoring the explosion of flavors and textures. The conversation flowed effortlessly as you explored different types of roles, sharing your thoughts and reactions. If we're exploring different types of roles, how how much is this bill gonna be? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, like, when me and Cameron go, and we get, like, four- they're- I won't get one, but, like, at the end, it's, like, 50 bucks for uh, four rolls. If- I don't know how many rolls these pieces are getting. <laughs> Through the meal, Tyler's excitement never wavered. He fearlessly tried every dish that came his way, occasionally fumbling with his chopsticks, but always laughing it off. 
His determination to embrace new experiences was totally infectious. He found herself sweeped up in the joy of the moment. I never thought I'd be this hooked on sushi, Tyler admitted, wiping his mouth with a napkin. But I'm stoked I gave it a shot. Trying new things is pretty epic. He nodded, grateful for the chance to share this adventure with Tyler. Absolutely. It's all about stepping out of the comfort zone and diving into the unknown. I'm glad we got to experience this together. With satisfied smiles, you and Tyler settled the bill and left for the restaurant. Your hearts and stomach content. Nice. Yeah. I, I should try making sushi at home. Apparently it's super easy, but you gotta like... Really? Yeah, the, the only problem is that like uh, when you get like fish or shrimp and whatnot, you gotta make sure that they're um, like sushi product, like sushi fish or sushi shrimp, because only... Because if you straight up eat, like, the raw fish from the grocery store, you will get sick. It has to be, like, a certain type that's made certainly. That way you don't yeah. die or get, like, yeah. salmonella or something. Uh-huh. But I would love to try it. It, it sounds cool. Me too. Also, I love it. It's just the first time eating sushi. Like, he's never had it before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. I believe it, it, you requested this one. Chapter 47. Lashana's yes. Shopping Buddy. <laughs> this will be a fun one. Yeah. <laughs> it was a sunny Saturday morning when you received a text message from Lashana, your close friend and shopping partner from high school. Hey there, sugar. Want, what, hey, sh hey there, sugar. Want, want, want to hit, want to hit the, want to hit the, the gala, Galleria Mall with me? I need a shopping buddy, the message read. Without hesitation, you agreed to join her. N n you agreed to jo jo join her knowing that any adventure with Lashana was bound to be exciting. As you arrived at the mall, you, you spotted Lashana waiting near the entrance, her confident smile shining through the crowd. Hey boo, gl hey boo, glad you can make it, she exclaimed, pu pulling, you, pulling you into a warm hug. Her energy was contagious. You couldn't help but smile back. Together, you entered... You, you, Together you enter the, the together you enter the Galleria Mall, a paradise for shopaholics. The hustle and bustle of people filled the air. The the vibrant displays in, in in every store caught your attention. Well, Lashana wasted no, no no time in dragging you towards the trendiest clothing store in the mall, fashion frenzy. All right, listen up, honey. We need to find the perfect outfit to slay the upcoming school dance. Lashana announced, her her tone filled with determination. You couldn't help but chuckle at her enthusiasm as you both began scouring through the racks of clothes. As you searched for the uh, as you searched for the ideal symbol, Lashana's sassy remarks and witty comments filled the air. Girl, this dress is so last season. We need to find something that screams confidence and fabulousness. Fabulous, fabulous, fa fabulousness. Okay, she declared, holding up a sequin gown. After trying on multiple outfits, you finally stumbled. Uh, upon a uh, upon a stunning black jumpsuit that that accentuated that accentuated your figure perfectly, Lashana's eyes lit up as she saw as uh, as she saw you step out step out of the uh, step out of the fitting room. Oh, honey, you are serving look, looks right now. That jumpsuit is everything. She exclaimed her excitement her excitement pal pal palpable palpable. Okay, palpable. <laughs> I have never I have never seen that word before. <laughs> With your outfit sorted, Lashana suggested heading to the accessories section next. Together, you explored various stores, trying on hats, sunglasses, and statement jewelry. Well, Lashana effortlessly mixed and match mixed and match items, creating unique combinations that truly reflected her vibrant personality. As you continued your shopping spree, Lashana couldn't resist showcasing her negotiation skills at every store. She confidently haggled with shopkeepers, ensuring you, ensuring you both got, got the best deals. Her quick wit, her quick wit and charm made, made, made even the most stubborn salespeople give give in to her request, leaving you in all, leaving you in all with her persuasive abilities. After a few hours, you after you, a few hours, you both decided to take a break and refuel refuel at the mall's food court. You sat down at a table with trays. With trays of mouth-watering dishes from different cuisines, Lashana, always the foodie, couldn't couldn't contain her excitement. Girl, dig in! We we we've earned this feast after your shopping marathon! She exclaimed, taking a big bite of of a delicious burger. 
Yet now with full bellies and renewed energy, you both you both decided to make one final stop before calling it a day. Lashana led you to a shoe store with rows upon rows of, sh of stylish footwear foot footwear waited. She guided you towards a pair of trendy sneakers, insist insisting that they would uh, 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 insisting that they would perfectly complement your jumpsuit. And just like that, you found a missing piece to complete your fabulous look. As you left the Galleria Mall, arms laden with shopping bags, you couldn't help but feel grateful for Lashana's friendship. You had not only made the shopping experience enjoyable, but also filled your heart with warmth and laughter throughout the day. Cool. Man, I want a shopping buddy. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, most of the, the friends I have now are, like, men. I can't just call them and be like, you want to go to the mall? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, I have to- I know Jolene, but I don't want to, like, drag her constantly everywhere. Yeah. Alright- oh. Oh, shit. I have to read this one. <laughs> I don't really like this character that much, but you know what? We all make sacrifices, you know? Yep. All right, Alejandro takes you to his hometown. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. Wait, author's notes right here. Hold on. <laughs> what is this? Oh no. I have a bit to say on this author's note. One, this was requested. Two, I have not taken Spanish in years, so I apologize if something isn't grammarly correct. Three, I know a bit about the best due to my friend, but from my knowledge, they are usually appetizers. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I have no clue what city Alejandro is from. It was just an inference, like inference. Uh, inference. Yeah. <laughs> Five. One is the first thing that popped into my head, and I have no clue why. Okay. Okay. All right. Prompt. <laughs> <laughs> the streets of M Madrid buzz with energy as you follow Alejandro's lead, weaving through the bustling crowds. His confident stride and magnetic presence turned heads wherever he went. It was as if the city himself itself recognized him as one of its own. Alejandro, I promised to take you to his hometown, and here you are. Aren't you ready to taste pure Spanish delight? Alejandro asks with a playful grin, in collapsing onto your hand. Absolutely, you replied, your heart pounding with anticipation. I don't think... <laughs> I... I I've only really eaten at one Mexican place, like, constantly. It wasn't, like, a one-off, and I always get, like, a Mexican sandwich. I don't even get, like, tacos. I'm... Yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. I cannot handle the spice that they use, which, I guess, <laughs> just makes me really white, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, I have my favorites. I have my little safe foods at restaurants. Let me have it. <laughs> Minutes later, you found yourself standing in front of a quince little restaurant tucked away in a narrow alleyway. The warm hues of its walls and the in, and the aroma of topaz wafting through the air made it clear that it was a special place for Alejandro. This place brings countless memories from my childhood, Alejandro whispered, his voice filled with nostalgia. I used to come here with my family, and the flavors, oh, the flavors we were exquisite. As you stepped inside, the am the ambiance enveloped you. The soft glow of the candlelight dancing on the wooden tables and the murmur of conversations filled the air. Alejandro led you to a cozy corner where you settled in. A friendly waiter approached, his eyes light up the side of Alejandro. Senor Alejandro, it's been far too long. Welcome back. Thank you, Juan. It's good to be home, Alejandro replied warmly. Juan glanced at you in curiosity. And who is this lovely comp compa wait. <laughs> companion? Companion? <laughs> companion of yours? Yeah. <laughs> Reading's hard. Yeah, it, it is. Alejandro's eyes fill with ad adoration. This is the person who has sullied my heart. One smile wide as you tried to hide your blush. Well, let me bring you our finest selection of the. the fuck. <laughs> Pat, I don't think I'm saying it right. I'm sorry. Jolene will roast me later for not knowing. <laughs> Tapaz, I think. I don't know. I'll just go for it. One spoke. I'm sure you'll, you'll relish every bite. 
The first plate arrived, a meddling of colorful dishes adorned with fresh herbs and vibrant spices. As you flavored each yeah, as you savored each, each bite, Alejandro's eyes never left you. His gaze was intense, filled with a mixture of pride and affection. This reminds me of the time my abuela used to cook for me, Alejandro mused, his voice tingling with a hint of vulnerability as he ate his dish in, as he ate the dish in front of him. These flavors, they hold a piece of my heart. You reach across the table, intertwining your fingers with Alejandro's. Thank you for taking me here, Alejandro. I appreciate you showing me around and introducing me to these wonderful places. No. Okay, I like this. <laughs> yeah, like that's this. cute. I love that they made, like just kept the personality that he had and just took away the manipulator thing. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I did not need to deal with manipulator Alejandro in this warming yeah. book. All right. Days <laughs> <laughs> yeah. on total drama. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. What is the next? All right. Chapter fifty-seven. Sierra. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy one. Yep. <laughs> it was an autumn Friday evening, and you were excited. And you were excitedly preparing for a movie night at your house with Sierra. Sierra, known for her energetic and bubbly personality, had become one of your closest friends in high school. As you set up the living room with blankets, pillows, and snacks, you you you, you couldn't you couldn't help but smile at the thought of spending a cozy evening with Sierra. The doorbell rang, and you eagerly rushed in. And you, and, and, and you eagerly rushed to open it. There stood Sierra. There stood Sierra. Her her vibrant smile. Her, her vibrant smile li- lighting up lighting up her face. Hey there, YN. I, I brought my favorite rom com for for us to enjoy tonight. She exclaimed. Of course, she wants to watch a rom com. Damn, <laughs> they, they got her personality down. This one. <laughs> uh, holding up a DVD. You grinned and invited her in. I can't wait. I can't wait to see what you've picked, Sierra. I've got the perfect setup ready for us. As, as, as you settled on the couch, surrounded by soft cushions, Sierra chatted. She, Sierra chatted ch- anim- animated, animatedly about the movie. Oh, you're going to love it! It's the perfect mix of laughter, love, and heartwarming moments. Get ready for some serious swooning. You chuckled, anticipating an entertaining evening. I'm all set, Sierra. Let's get this movie night started. The room darkened as the movie began, and the screen filled with with vibrant colors. Sierra couldn't contain her, couldn't contain her excitement, and throughout the film, she couldn't resist sharing her thoughts on every scene. Oh my gosh, isn't the chemistry between the main characters just adorable? <laughs> Sierra exclaimed, her eyes glued to the screen. They're like a modern day Romeo and Juliet, but with a happy ending. You laugh you laugh nodding in agreement. They they they, they definitely have great on screen chemistry, Sierra. It's so fun to watch their banter and see their relationship develop. As the movie progressed, you found yourself more engrossed in the story. The room was filled with, with laughter, sighs, and occasional gasps as Sierra's as Sierra's commentary continued. Can you imagine going through all those hilarious mishaps and you finally realizing that you're meant to be? Fear, fear, fear amused. Her, her eyes sparkling with excitement as she munched on her popcorn. You smiled and enjoying the movie and Sierra's contagious enthusiasm. It's definitely a roller coaster of emotion, Sierra. But it's heartwarming to see them trying to find their happily ever after. As the credits rolled, you and Sierra exchanged satisfied smiles. That was incredible, Sierra squealed, clapping her hands. I also loved it. Such a mix of laughter, heartache, and romance. What a perfect movie night! You agreed wholeheartedly, snuggling up against Sierra's body. Sierra, thank you for sh- thank you for introducing me to this amazing rom com. It was a fantastic choice, and I couldn't and I couldn't have asked for a better movie night. Sierra looked down, beaming at you. I'm so glad you enjoy it. Movie nights movie nights with you are always the best. You should definitely do this do this again soon. How the hell are we friends with Sierra? I'm just really right? like asking. Yeah. Is she only friends with us so she can get closer to Cody? Is that it? Probably. I wouldn't blame her. I mean, the other one that mentioned Sierra's name was us helping Cody get away from her. Yeah. Alright, well, we're down to one. And I am... <laughs> yeah, let's go. 
It's my it's my green hair boy. Yes. <laughs> I'm so ra- This is this author's favorite. Their other books are Duncan X readers following each story. I love it. Yeah. Alright, uh, six, chapter 61, Carving Pumpkins with Duncan. Author's note, this is a bit cheesy, my bad. Well, don't worry, girl. I love cheesy. Me I love too. Me some cheese bread. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween was just around the corner, and what better way to celebrate the holiday than by carving pumpkins? He had asked Duncan over, oh, to come over and hang out, knowing he had an act for carving. Plus, he never minded getting his hands a little dirty. As the doorbell chimed, you hurriedly opened the door to find Duncan standing there, wearing a band t-shirt and a mischievous look. Ready to get this pumpkin pumpkin party started? He asked, a glint of excitement in his eyes. You nod enthusiastically and let Duncan inside, where a table was already set up with various carving tools and newspapers to protect the surface. I feel like he's just gonna like be like, nah, we don't need that, and just take out his knife. <laughs> just yeah. carve it himself. Yeah. Do you ever get the, those packs from like Target or Walmart of like pumpkin carvings? Um, I don't remember actually because I haven't carved a pumpkin in a really long time. All right, well, it, it was like these sets, and they come with a little scooper. That way, you can you don't have to like dig your hands in there for the getting mm-hmm. the pumpkin crap out. And it has like these flimsy little like carving tools that bend so easily. Yeah. Use a knife, dog. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. First in the table. Alright, Duncan, show me what you got, you challenge. Handing him a sharp carving knife and a pumpkin. I feel like Duncan's the last person we should just be handing a knife to, but... Yeah, I... yeah. <laughs> just saying. I feel like yeah. I can't even trust this man with, like, safety scissors. <laughs> me neither. Duncan crashed to, cracked his knuckles and examined the pumpkin, his steel eyes narrowly in concentration. Alright. Watch and learn, newbie, he said, his voice dripping with confidence. With a swift motion, he sliced open the top of the pumpkin, effortlessly removing the stem. May the best pumpkin carver win. Who's judging it? Are we just gonna look at it and be like, no mind? <laughs> you followed his lead, scooping out the slimy pumpkin guts. Oh, slimy pumpkin guts. Seconds seemed to reveal in the mess you both were making, looking pumpkin seeds at you. Hey, watch it, you explain, ducking to avoid the flying seeds. He chuckled, his voice laced in amusement. Can't resist causing a little mis- middle chaos, can I? Just by nature. Once the pumpkins were clean, Duncan began carving out an intricate design on his. His hands moved with precision, and you were quite impressed with the design he was creating. I mean, to be fair, this man, like, <laughs> does this on, like, random posts in, like, the, like, in the park. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, you just gave him, like, another thing to do it on. <laughs> <laughs> you have some serious talent, Duncan. You, were, you remarked, watching him in awe. He shrugged nonchalantly. You're just a natural-born artist, I guess. Plus, I've seen a lot of... Plus, I've had a lot of practice stirring up trouble. It's all about finding the right angles and creating something that makes people squirm. At the two of you starting to... At the two of you started to... Started carving. Duncan's tough demeanor immediately went soft. You know, it's kind of fun doing this with someone. Usually I'm stuck carving pumpkins all by myself, he admitted, his voice genuinely, surprisingly genuine. Your smile warmed. I'm glad you, I can be here to carve pumpkins with you then. It's always more fun to share moments like these. Hours flew by and you and Duncan continued to carve, filled with laughter and, and friendly banter. He even taught you a few tricks, like using toothpicks to keep small pieces intact. It was clever that, despite his rebellious nature, Duncan enjoyed the simple pleasure of creating something beautiful. After the sun began to set, casting an eerie glow through the windows, you all stepped out back to admire your handiwork. The pumpkins now bore intricate designs, each of you unique, each one unique and captivating. Not bad, huh? Duncan said, a sense of pride evident in his voice. You nodded, genuinely impressed. That's an empty. You definitely made the best pumpkin. He smirked, a twinkle in his eye. That's what they that's why they call me the pumpkin. <laughs> I think that's Jack uh what is his name? I, I haven't seen Nightmare for Christmas in a long time. 
Jack Skeleton. I think Jack it's Jack, Jack Skeleton. Yeah. yeah. I feel like a bad fan. <laughs> <laughs> you tidy up the mess that you made. You and Duncan stood proudly, showcasing the intricate carved car pumpkins on your porch. The warm glow of the flickering candlelight emulated the otherwise dark streetlights, creating an enchanting ambiance. As you settled down, despite beside Duncan on the porch steps, a sense of contentment washed over you. He turned to him and sincerely expressed your gratitude. I really appreciate doing this with me, Duncan. Duncan, with his signature mischievous grin, casually draped his arm over your shoulder. It's no problem at all. I actually had a lot of fun doing this. He replied, his voice filled with unexpected warmth. That was so sweet. Yes. I love that. I... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I can. I just, I just have a thing for green hair. All right. Yeah. I'm just Completely saying. fair. Yeah. This, this yeah. man does it. <laughs> he, he, yep. he meets all the requirements. <laughs> oh God. Well, they have a lot more of this, especially Duncan, and they do other characters like Noah, Cody, and and like Trent and whatnot. But like, out of the, out of the ten that we've read. I, I've enjoyed this. Me too. Me too, actually. That was really good. Yeah. So I, I highly recommend ex explore this other this person's other scenarios that they have. Explore the shorts, because the shorts are like more as pairings between two total drama characters than... Whereas this book is mainly like sort of X reader. It's kind of like a reader insert, but... I've never recommended a book so much in my life. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah. I, I can see why. It, it is really it is really good. Yeah, especially when like they'll like not upload for a little bit and then they will just like come back and there's like five new chapters in my inbox. <laughs> yeah, and they're still active, so they're still updating. It's so great. I recommend them a lot. So go check them out in the description down below. And if I see anyone throw in hate, I will find your IP address. <laughs> Good. I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm not gonna post. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'll be angry. <laughs> that's it. That's yeah. that's pretty much all I can do. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm also glad you enjoyed this. I'm glad we get to see characters that we don't really get to read about a lot. So. Mhm. Mm yeah, so she is in Sierra. Yeah. But uh, it's it's time for another round of spinning the wheel to decide what we're doing next time. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Alrighty, we have a lot of suggestions of things to do, mainly carry ons of last ones, but alright. Let's see. Okay, we can do this. Okay, we actually haven't done that in, in a long time, so okay. Yeah, we can finish cool. chapter two and then maybe start chapter three, so. Yeah. I'm very excited okay. for this. Yes. Awesome. We, we gotta, like, brainstorm. We gotta be, like... Do. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta be good writers. <laughs> we do. <laughs> Alright, I even, where did we leave off on the chapter two one? It was like the me and then they meet back up again and they have to like bond a little bit. I don't even remember because I haven't looked back at it in a while now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we definitely gotta finish chapter two and then we'll probably yeah, maybe start chapter three during that and whatnot, so. Mm -hmm. But I'm very excited. Me I, too. I'm used to do like, this is kind of like a writing exercise because I'm trying to do my <laughs> own thing, so. Be good. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, thank you. Thank you once again for joining me on this, Kenzie. Yeah. I really appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I can have you as a reoccurring guest. And we, <laughs> we've, like, you've been almost here since the beginning, like, almost at the beginning. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm, I'm very proud to have you stick around. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm proud to be here as well. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I have lots I have lots of fun with you reading the, reading these weird stories. <laughs> yeah, you, even even certain ones that made us question why what we were doing. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> but uh, if you would like to check out Kenzie's channel and her work, I will have a link down below in the description. Please go check her out. Um, go follow her as well. She's got a lot of Dispenser Camp content if you are interested in any of that. But, uh, but anyway, my name is Phoenix, that was Kenzie, and we'll see you guys next time! Bye! Bye!